Hello everyone, Esenera here bringing you episode 20 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emoziwa Gamer. So today we're getting started into Actually Edition, but before that, I drink my time lapse. Well, I died twice because I was working on fixing the mob farm, and that was a great fail. I had so many problems falling, actually being shot by a skeleton, and anyway, I hope you saw it. It was kind of funny. But before we move forward, I wanted to show you my perfect temper setup. This is the setup that I love for tempering parts that I built in my other series, and I, well, my other playthrough, and I reproduced it here for you. Basically, the way you do it is that I have a chest here for each of the type of part that I want to temper, and it's locked so that I know which one goes where, and now I have 12 of each in them. And there's a little lever here, and if you come back here, there's a auto ejector here that's not working because the lever's not turned on, and there's a timer set at the exact set, uh, exact delay for the tempering of this part. And then the, the piece get dropped in here, it moves down here to this, which brings it into my tempering oven right here. And now I have all of this redstone sending a signal to this that reversed the signal. Okay? And I have that for all four type of parts with each of their own time delay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the... I'm going to temper these... Uh, what's it called again? These gear and I want to show you the process. So basically I click this and it ejects all 12 parts in here. They come here, they go into the tempering oven and the pattern that's being sent here means that it's outputting one every time. And if I'm looking at this here, I have six, seven, eight, and so and so. And this is just going to create all of my tempered part one after another. Now it's important that you never start two at the same time. If you start two at the same time, you're going to screw up everything. So you have to be really careful to only one run one at a time. Ideally, you would have four tempering oven so that you can do any of these part one at a time. And if I wanted a fully automated setup where I produced every type of part fully automated, that's what I would do. But right now, honestly, I don't much care. I'm not going to spend so much more time on uh, basic factory, factory tech, sorry. So this is good enough for now. It's just, I wish I had done that before because you can start it and leave and go do something else. But I should also have technically the same setup for a, um, uh, the same setup for batteries and for motors and stuff like that. Like that's ideally what you want in this system. Now I just want to come right here and check how this is doing there's still four left to do and no more than four because there's still others being inputted in there so you know what i'll just come back later because i don't want to spend so much time i'm going to let these continue producing and i'm just going to come back and turn on the next one at some other point but believe me it does work now before we get started into actually addition i'm going to go back upstairs and I'm going to take one quick look at the seeds and I'm going to talk to the narrator to delete these breakpoints. So, narrator on. narrates all. Remove, remove. Narrator and removes the narrator. narrates chat. Perfect. Narrator off. Thank you, narrator. I just want to come here and take a quick look at the seed to see if I've got any improvement at all. And it's. Is it day right now? No, it's going toward. Oh yeah, it's going toward day. So it's a good time to start my seed, and then it's going to be a good time to get started with actually addition. I haven't made any space for those any drawers, so I have to put them there for now. Tomato eight six six, rice seed six nine ten. Oh six nine ten. That's kind of good already. Bean seed ten eight six. Another bean seed. 1087, that's even better. So I'll keep those. And am I done with analyzing any seed? Yeah. So my best rye seed is oh, 6910 or 799. You know what? I like uh, having a 10 because it forces the other one to upgrade. So these are the one I'm going to keep. So bean 1087. Oh no, these are tomatoes. So tomatoes, I got 866. 
So two improved, which is kind of good. Two is always good. One is the bare minimum. Two is really amazing. Not only did I put the wrong one, I plant them in a way that I lost them. So, okay. Uh, I now have bean tomato seeds. So I didn't lose my tomato seed. So let's do this. First, I plant the tomato seed. For the rice seed, I have a 6, 9, 10. 6, 9, 10. So that's a double improvement again, which is very good. Let's put the 6, 9, 10 right here. And now for the bean, I have a 10, 8, 6. 10, 8, 6. So it's a one improvement right here. So at least I had another one that had a one improvement. If I didn't have one that had a one improvement, this would have been a total loss. So 7, 9, 9, rise, 7, 9, 9, 7, 9. No, okay. I prefer that one. So let's get rid of these. And now let's just start the seed and we'll go and start actually addition. I'm kind of excited about actually addition because of all of the uh, machinery it's finally going to give me like power and everything but I really wanted to do a non-tech mod that was my fate what I really wanted to do but my seeds are not ready yet so there's nothing much I can do so let's put this right here or I could spend a whole episode trying to max out my seed but Let's be honest, I don't want to do that either because these seeds, the reason I'm doing a little bit every episode and my time lapse and in during the episode is because it's one of the very boring part of Greecraft. Now, I played a mod pack and I unfortunately don't remember the name where what you could do for uh, Agricraft is that you could actually set up a line with this one right here, double, 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 just like a whole line down. And what it did is that it, you always had a chance of improvement. You had a chance that it would stay the same or you had a chance that it would improve. So you would set up fields that are 20 long and with the 20 long field, you would just plant a seed at the beginning of each and wait for them to grow. And you'd end up getting a 10, 10, 10 seed. It would take a long while, but you could start many at the same time and just leave them be and let them upgrade and once they reach the end of the line you just collected the last two one and you check the status of the last two one and you most often time had a much better one uh, a couple of upgrades because they don't all like i said they didn't always upgrade so it wasn't a guarantee but if you made the line like 20 long the chance that none of them would grow uh, a better result was very like very slim and you always ended up getting a much better seed and some seed you got to 10 10 10 in one line some seed it would take two line before or three even before you got 10 10 10 but you were happy you didn't have to stay there watch it and spend all of that time so four five three what i'm going to do is replant this and i'm going to go and check and if it's not more than four five three because that one tend to not grow that much if it's not more than four five three then I'll just toss it over the side and continue with something else. Four, five, four. So four, five, three. There was one improvement. Not quite ideal. I wish this one was rolling more, but at least it grew this time because if you remember last time, there was no growth. So I will take any growth over no growth at all. And now we can get started with actually addition. Let's get rid of this and let's get into our crafting center. I should have moved those machines downstairs. I completely forgot to move those. So, this is exciting. New quest line for me, always exciting. Actually, addition. We have two first ones. Let's start with the wood casing. The wood casing is needed for crafting the simplest AA block. Okay, so let's look into wood casing. Wood casing, it's four wood, a uh, four plank, a wood, and four stick. And let's look into what we can do with it. Compost, fermenting barrel, ESD something, automatic feeder, small storage crate, and that's it. So you know what? I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make ten. 
Why not? So 40, 40, and this. Let, let's just, you know what? I said 10, but I lied. Let's make it easier. Uh, do I have? I don't have a single stack of stick. Hmm. That's quite funny, but uh, problem solved. Let's grab that. Let's transform half of it into plank and the other half into stick. And now we can just go like this and go boom. So that's 11. Oh, and you get an actually edition book the moment you craft something. So how come do I only get 11? You know what? I'm not going to make 20, 20, 30 something. That seems kind of ridiculous. I'm going to be happy with 12. So let's grab these 12 and press completed. Wood casing. First loot box, claim, back, next one. I don't want to do this one. I want to do the iron casing because I want to start left to right. Well, the, the two that I could do in the beginning. The iron casing is needed for crafting most AA machines. So let's look into iron casing so iron casing is made with iron oh and the black quartz so we're going to start using the black quartz and it's used in the farmer the empowerer the firework box don't know what that one is vertical digger atomic reconstructor range collector oh i want this so bad uh coffee maker energizer innervator Ooh, these casing so we're gonna start getting some cute blocks Oil generator, lava factory controller, bioreactor, coal, leaf eating generator, solar panel. Okay, so a lot of things. Oh, crusher. That's very useful. Double crusher, powered furnace. So that's kind of expensive though. But it's totally worth it. Worth, worth, oh my god. Worth it. I'm having English problem. Uh, and how many iron ingot do I have? 140. It's all grab. 64 of those and I know I have a lot downstairs and these I'll get 16 I'm gonna make 16 casing That seems like a good compromise <clears throat> If you can call it a compromise 16 casing boom Hello Done another quest done second loot chest claim Let's just look into the two that we got for now a Sorrel and Leander generating flower that seems interesting and oh, these jungle these leaf something something let's just get rid of that so boom boom don't care for any of those and you know what the even the leaf full Leander something we'll look at it later let's look at the next quest so now we've opened up a lot of things but let's do this one because that's the first one that's unlocked a different type of coal by putting canola, canola seeds in a composter, they'll turn into biomass, which you can then smelt to turn it into bio coal. That's kind of cool. So we want to make a compost. Let's look at, you know what? I can just right click this and compost is like this. And let's make two. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a slow process, so we might as well make two. And the next step is make biomass and bio coal. So you do it by putting canola seed. Now, that's something I didn't think of. Canola seed. How do you get canola seed? Get canola seed by crossbreeding. What a surp... No. Ooh. The farmer is a blog that can be placed in the world, plant and harvest different type of crops and other farmer... Uh, you can make a simple yet effective blah 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 blah. It feels like I don't have a way of making canola seed. Can make it out of canola, but hmm, I don't know how to get a canola seed, and it doesn't tell us. How... You know what? Wait, let, let back, 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 back. Let's go back to basic farming. Mycelium, mushroom, mushroom, white mushroom. And by the way, we didn't do that one because of the mycelium. Uh, I don't see canola seed anywhere there. 
So how do you make canola seed? I wonder if it's not one of those seeds that... Are you... In case you guys didn't notice what happened, I had a little teeth of a Nenderman steal my... <laughs> steal my... Uh, sand block right here which stopped my cactus from growing so oh, let's re just put that back again a stupid little enderman and he put the block back down i thought an enderman once it captured a block it kept it in his end always so since we're here let's just take a quick look at what this one seed says did we get an improved tomato seed because we got kind of set back when i screwed up planting seeds so eight six seven Eight, six, seven, so yeah, one better. So let's plant that one. And throw these off the ledge. And here, what's the quality here? It's a six, nine, ten. Let's see if we got an improvement on that one. Six, nine, ten. Six, nine, ten, six, nine, ten, six, nine, ten. 7, 10, 10. Ooh. Okay, so that's good. That's making this one almost completed. It's bringing it really close. Because now, there's only one level that can improve. Only the first level. So, this should start working really fast. And here we have 10, 8, 6. Let's look at the, this one. 10, 8, 6. 10, 8, 7. So, another improvement. So, in one day... Every seed improved one time, which is really good because it means we're probably going to get to a point where we finish them soon. And it's night, so I can't grow them right now, so I'll have to come back and do that a bit later. Let's just get rid of all of this for now, and let's move on. So, canola seed. Now I have a problem with that because I have to check if I got one somewhere in a chest. No seeds in here. Um... There's no canola seed in here. They, they look kind of weird and slanted to the side, so they would be easy to wreck. Oh, canola seed. And we got them. Oh, they're 111. I don't know why I didn't improve those. And coffee seeds, and I didn't improve those either. Didn't I? Why would I not? I improved the M seed, but not the canola seed. So that kind of sucked, but it is what it is. And it's not the end of the world because... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get started on that, but technically all I need is the canola seed to transform them. So, canola seed. I think that's what I put in the compost. I'm not quite sure. Let's put the compost barrel close to where the seeds are going to be produced. Uh, right here. And let's put some... Maybe I need more than four. Oh, probably need more than four so i'm gonna uh you know what let's just leave it's not like i have that much stuff to do during the night day is better and now that we're day i can just come here and do this and grow all of these and now claim all of this oh this is not fully grown i thought it was fully grown that's why i collected it so let's go make it all fully grown. Claim. Perfect. Okay, so let's put five more canola seed in there. And you know what? I think five, nine is not even enough. And what if I, so I can't put the canola in it, but oh, I can transform it back into canola seed. So let's put it in there. That's 12. I'm going to need some more water. So I don't know how much I need. Let's go back here. So that's one of the seed that it's going to be really, really important that I improve to 10, 10, 10. Because having a much bigger yield is going to improve everything. So claim, 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 claim. Continue growing. Claim, claim. Just continue. I want to make sure I get a couple so that I'm not stuck in the same situation again. I'm hoping that I'll get enough to be able to produce 
at least one of the biomass. I'm not sure what's how to do the second level yet. I'm not even sure which one is going to give me now. Let's go one more round and I'm going to go and try that. Like so. And now let's turn all of this into seed. So that's 12, that's 28. It's still not enough. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Um, I'm really going to need this 10, 10, 10, because if 28 is not enough, and it doesn't even feel like half, so I'm wondering if it's not possible that we're talking about a situation where you need 64. That would be crazy. Not 10, 10, 10, it would make this almost impossible. Oh, I'm out of water already. This watering can... Do I have any way of improving this watering can? Ah, magical side. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's just R-click on this. Can I improve it? I could improve it with enchantment. So, no. Let me just research watering can quickly. Oh, I can make these, but... Yeah, no. I can't get into this right now. So, it's going to have to wait for later. Let's continue. Some more. And this is boring. So I think I'm going to have to move to the next quest because if I don't get enough from this pass, I don't really want to start wasting the time doing this forever. Especially that I want to grow the other seeds also at the same time. I don't want to waste too much time on seed. I'm just really sad now that I never thought about making the canola seed. It's kind of weird. It's not my type of thing to just forget this. Let's put... Oh! Huh? Oh, so my biomass is ready. So I guess they you only need one seed. Don't, so you only need one seed. It's how much time it takes to turn. Because we had 28 seed and it gave us 28 biomass. So let's go back out of here. Quest... It's been a long time since I've done biomass. And you never know with a mod pack. You can always fall on one that does things differently. So we got the next step. We got one biomass. We need bio coal. So how do we get bio coal? So bio, oh, bio coal. You get bio coal by smelting the biomass. So let's go back right here. And let's smelt all of it. It's not like I really care. Let me transform all of the canola into seed and put all of that in here. Come back right here and you know what? I'll keep one for detection just in case and grab that one and another quest done. And that's the third loot chest from the bottom. Rare mega loot case. I'm not going to open that right now. Do I have any space in here? Yeah, let's show that in here. Let's look at the next quest. Next quest. So now... We haven't opened up anything here, nothing new, so we have to complete the one from the iron casing. So first it wants a coal generator. The coal generator used the types of coal to generate RF. Seems really easy. And I think we're going to get from an iron casing. So you know what? I'm just going to search for it. I don't want to waste time flipping through paint. So coal generator is basically six cobblestone and two charcoal. Wow. This is so cheap. I'm going to make two. So I'm going to need this and 12 of these. 12. Perfect. So let's make two of these. Et voila. How did it not? Oh, I already had cobblestone in here. Yeah, okay. So that's weird, but it worked. So let's claim that one. Claim. Back. Next quest, Atomic Reconstructor. Now we get into the fun stuff. The Atomic Reconstructor uses RF to shoot a laser, which can transmute the block and items that it hits. So we have to make an Atomic Reconstructor, which is why we need the power. Atomic Reconstructor right here. It's four iron, four redstone, and I'm only going to make one of these because I don't really need more than that. So four iron, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four redstone. And let's go with that. So, sorry, that was my dog. I had to go and calm him down. So let's do one atomic reconstructor. 
another quest done. In the beginning, these quests are so easy. You can just like do so many at a time. And then as things go move on, they get harder and harder and harder. Cactus fruit and punchy sticks. Wow, these rewards suck. Let's just put it in here with the unimportant loot. And let's look at the next step. The next step... Oh, so now we opened up a crazy amount of things. Wait, there was these two that I could do. So I want to do these two first. The range collector. The range collector collects items that you filtered in a 6x6 six six area. Wow, that's a large area. I love this. So let's look at the range collector. Range collector. It's a bit expensive though. So I need a void crystal, two ender pearl, a hopper, and a casing. And the void crystal is made out of you know, a piece of coal in an atomic reconstructor. So yeah, no, that's really cheap. It's more the two ender pearls. And I don't know how many ender pearls I have. What's my ender pearl situation? 22. So I'm only going to make one for my mob farm right now, but we're going to have to go and put down some machine. And as always, I'm going to use this one spot for now. And we're going to move that later somewhere else. So I'm putting those on each side because I think that by touching, they're going to power it. I, I, I say thing, but I'm pretty sure of that. And I'm going to grab, you know what, 24 coal. Let's put 12 on each side. So 12 coal right here, 12 coal right here. And now this is being powered. And now it's firing and it's using. So I completely forgot. Quick, 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 quick. Grab one and... and I need a redstone torch. So this is how it works with these machines. So now it's powering and firing all the time. But if I... If I right click it with this, I just switched it to pulse. Which means now it won't fire. It's going to accrue power. Which is what I prefer because I don't want to burn through all my coal. And now it needs something to fire it up. So cobblestone, oh no, not cobblestone. I need one stone right here. One, not two, and make one button. There's many ways to power this. I'm gonna, ah, let me just show you the way that I prefer. I, I don't know why I'm trying to do it differently. I prefer this. You put, make a wooden pressure plate and you put it right here and now, when you step on it, it's going to activate. We need a void crystal. So let's go and grab one. Oh, we need coal. Oh, and now he took this. It's it's mine forever now. That's full, so I can't take that. Do I have a coal here? Yes, I have a coal. So here's what you do. You come right here and you throw the coal on it. Because it's heavy, it activates it and gives you a void crystal. And by the way, you can put more than one at a time, but I'm going to show you quickly what I mean. So you get a Void Crystal in the Atomic Reconstructor with 60 CF. Uh, I, I think it means 60 RF. I can't believe it's 60 CF. I don't even know what a CF is. But if I put a stack of 64, it would need 64 times 60 to turn them all in. So we got this, we got this. All I'm missing now is a hopper. Let's go make one hopper. And that's my phone. Wow, I'm not being lucky with my record session this time. First the dog, now the phone. But sorry person, I'm going to have to call you back. I'm on a mission to do some actually addition. And I've been really excited to get into this. So there's no way that I'm stopping what I'm doing for a phone call. And a range collector. And that's another quest completed. Now I'm at the bottom one, so let's grab this one and please give me a real reward. Oh, okay. So not super exciting, but super useful. Much better than what we got before. And now technically this, you put it down and you can say, you can whitelist, you can say metadata, you can say ignore or put MBT, you can use or dictionary, you mode off and then you can filter what you want. It grabs item and puts them into here and it doesn't need power, so let's just grab it and let's go upstairs. And I just wanna, oh God. What's going to happen the moment I put it down here? It's not grabbing anything. So let's try something else. What if I destroy this? Ah, mini skeleton. I got 
quiet just because I needed to kill him. So let's put it right here. And what's going on? It, it flew all over the place, but it's not still not grabbing anything. Redstone mode, deactivation. Pulse. Oh, so it must need power. I thought for sure it didn't need power, though. Well, that's kind of sad. Because... How can I forget? I set it up, like... A month and a half ago when I started playing this in my other playthrough. But now I'm going to have to switch to my other playthrough and go figure it out. The one thing though that I can say is that I've been wanting to just like move on with the quest. So I'm going to look into it for sure and get back to you. But it should have collected everything in a 6x6 quest. Uh, 6x6. You know what? I say that but it will take only 4 seconds to do what I want to do. Let's grab this. And let's go back upstairs. Let's put this right here. Um, why can't I put you down? You know what? Blacklist. To let all item true an empty blacklist can be used. To let no item true an empty whitelist. So that's what I needed to do. I needed to put it to white and now it's on pulse what's that yeah exactly sorry now I remember I just forgot the setting to whitelist or blacklist so now you see it's just going to grab everything and it's is it grabbing everything it's kind of weird so I need to really set it up at a proper height in a proper way and oh all of the all of the loot bag have disappeared. And it is grabbing stuff. So I don't know exactly if everything's working properly, but that's how it's supposed to work. It should be grabbing everything now. I just have to set it up in a way that it's exporting properly. And I can put it, I think, right inside top here, and it should grab everything properly. But I'm going to go see how I set it up in my other playthrough, and I'm going to talk about it in the next episode. So for now, let's continue. Charging with RF. The Energizers fills item with power, and the Enervator empties them. So it wants us to make an Energizer and an Enervator. So Energizer. Energizer is going to be... Um... Oh, okay, now we're getting into the interesting, complicated stuff. Uh, let me look. Uh, the advanced coil. Okay, so we need to make these coil now. So we need some black quartz, which we already have, but we're going to not start needing some redstonia crystal. How do you make redstonia crystal? Well, first, you can transform redstonia crystal block into crystal, or you can put redstone in front and transform that. So I don't want to waste all of my redstone, so I'm going to come here quickly. I want to see if I have some more. I have three right here. Do I have a block? Having a block would be epic. And you know what? Now that we're into it, an ori crystal is something we're going to need. I already have some void crystal, emeratic crystal. All of these are actually addition things. I'm going to make one of each before I start using those, but I'm going to use those because it's free resource. And at this point, any free resource I can get, I really want an ori crystal block. Um, I'm just trying to see if I recognize any more, but I think I pretty got much everything that I wanted. Let me move down the line. Uh, no, 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 none of these. I have so much thing to empty from here. I have to get working on that. Like, I set up the extraction properly with filters, but I still have so much loot in here. And you know what? That's it. I, I don't think I have any more, and I'm not going to care. I'm just going to... Let's get started. Uh, let's continue with this. So, redstone. I'm going to just do 32 for now. And I'm going to go on top right here. And I'm going to drop 32. Hey, voila! 32. Oh, I activated it. Now it's full of power. Cool. So 32 crystal, uh, 35 in order crystal, 
Uh, I'm gonna need some black crystal. So these black crystal, I'm really happy that I got a lot of them because if it's like other mud pack, you can make them. Uh, oh, you can't make them in this one. So it's a good thing I have them already because I thought it was one of those where you threw quartz in front of a, uh, a signal and you got these black quartz. But nope, it's something that you get to smelting a black quartz or crushed black quartz or you get them from washed crystal. Why doesn't it show here the washed crystal though? Did I only... Yeah, right here. Dirty black quartz. And dirty black quartz is a 252% chance. That's why I have so much from a compressed stone. So I'm good. Let's go back here. And let's create an energizer. I'm going to need to create two of those. So one and two. Grab all of that. And now I'm going to need some gold nuggets. How many gold nuggets do I have here? None. So let's grab some gold nuggets. It's a bit gold expensive, but we're going to reproduce some gold soon. So now I need two like this. Two. And now I can create my energizer. Like a so. And I'm going to put my energizer on this side right here so that it also gets charged. So now I have power coming from there. So these two machines will be full. The innervator now is probably a very similar recipe. Oh, it's so similar. I should have made the extra coil immediately. No problem. Let's create the two extra coil. So that's one, two. Grab all of that, and then two of those, and then an innervator. What? Okay, well that was weird, it just wasn't recognized yet. And you know what, I'm going to put this right here because, yeah exactly. So this removes power and puts it together. See, put in, take out. And I don't know what I'm going to use it to charge right now, but it doesn't matter. I'm basically just going through the quest. Oh, only one loot chest possible. Is it a special reward? Chest upgrade tool. No, it's not a really special reward. Let's put that here and let's come back. Okay, so it's to recharge the drill. But now I can make an automatic farming station, generating ore with power, automatically manipulating block and drill. Oh, I can also start making canola oil. So I don't have enough canola right now for this to be worth it. So I'm not going to go down that route. And that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to improve these seeds in my time lapse. And from the improved seed, you know, every time I break all of this to get the improved seed, I'm going to end up getting a lot of canola. So I'm going to be able to start working with canola. So I'm going to keep that extra power that sorry not extra the different power type generation for next episode so now we have two at 10 for the cactus which is good because it means we're progressing let's get rid of this and let's get rid of those can i still grow it or is it too late wow can i jump should be the first question i ask myself yeah the plant is fertile and can grow i just want to restart that one because this one is so late it should have been there already it's just that i kind of forgot that I had it and now I'm taking two clippings at a time which is not what I want to do max growth it and let's go and I should take care of those but like I said I want to concentrate on quests I'm going to work on seed in between I think I can get a couple more quests done and that's what I want so you know what I'm going to look if I can do the generating ores with power the lens of the miner allows the atomic reconstructor to generate ores when it hits stone or netherrack. And the reason I want to do that is I want to show you how, why this is such, such a better option than the uh, monstrosity downstairs that we created because you saw how little power this takes. Lens of the miner. So the lens, no, not the lens of color. The lens of the miner is made from an emerald, a lapis, a nether quartz, iron, gold, diamond, coal, black quartz, and a lens. And a lens is eight glass around the black quartz. Is the eight glass going to be my problem is the question. You know what? It's probably going to 
be my problem. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going to cause me a little bit of issue because it's not done yet, but it's not that hard to do. Let's make one compressed gravel. Let me go grab my grinder. You have enough left in you to give me my nine. Yeah, so perfect. Let's come back here, put that back there. Let's start cooking that. And while this is cooking, we'll produce, we'll grab the rest. So we needed a iron gold diamond. I'm going to need two black quartz. So one, two, iron, gold, I mean gold, iron, diamond, lapis, and I have too much stuff on me. Okay. Just one second, one problem at a time. Let's come back here and I'm going to make two chests because we're going to do the same thing that we usually do when we're working on the new element. I'm going to make a chest to dump things that I don't need from that element that I'm already working on. So this, the biomass, the inoric crystal, I haven't done yet, the diamantine, the emeratic, I haven't done any of these yet. This I'm going to need. Okay, so that's good for now. Let's go here and continue. So we have this, and I need a nether quartz, and I need a coal. Do I have my nine glass now? Six. I need eight. Give me two more. Six. Just being impatient here. Six, seven, and come on, I'm watching you. That's why it's taking so long. A watch pot never boils, but... A glass never cooks if you're watching it. It did work though. Okay, so let's do this. So first we need a lens, like so. And then we need a lens of the miner. Oh, missing the emerald. I do have emerald, so I'm not worried. And uh, like so. And a lens of the miner. So here's how it works. You put it, first you remove that. And then you put it in front like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use that button that I put away. So let me grab that button and put it on top here. Now we're going to go and grab some stones. And I'm going to do 16. I don't really need to do 16, but I want to do 16. So let me go grab 16. Put this right here and get rid of... I don't know why I have this bag. I must have grabbed it when I was working upstairs. And I'm going to go get rid of the cactus. And I need food. As you can see, I'm now walking slowly because I'm lacking food. So let's put that right there. And I'm going to grab... You know what? I want to grab some potatoes. Because I'm going to cook the potatoes. They give me a good amount of food for the trouble that they cause. They're not that much trouble for the amount of food that they give me. I'm just going to wait, wait for one wheat. I'm going to wheat for a potato. But that's not the same thing. So let's just give me one cooked potato. Eat that. Oh, is it possible that it gives me less than before? Anyway, so I'm going to put a stone right there. I don't want to talk about it. I meant I'm going to put a stone right. <laughs> Derp put etc. Now let's go replace those two stone. Get rid of the cobblestone. And I'm going to put a stone right there. And hit this. And voila! This one is a circus quartz ore. Let me move this one out of the way. And break this. So that gives me a quartz ore. Another stone. This one is going to be a osmium ore. Next one. Going to give me a gold. <laughs> oh no! Why? I never looked at you, stupid Enderman. I knew that it was Enderbird, but I never thought that it was because of me. Anyway, let's continue. So next one. So we got a gold already. Let's do this. We got an iron. Now do next one. I can I put multiple copper. Oh, it's too far. Derp. What happened? Oh no, it still has power. Derp. 
Did I break you? What did I do? One. I... Maybe it needs 60 KRF. Maybe it doesn't have enough power. How? How is it? So let me look again. <sighs> Out of block and sight. When the laser it's a block. Whoa, can create wars out of blocks in its sight. When the laser hits a block of stone, it will convert it into different overworld ores, whereas a block of netherrack will be converted into nether ores. Each operation uses 60,000 CF. However, each operation requires additional power depending on the rarity of the ore that it generates. Oh, I didn't know that. So let's... So 60,000. I'm going to think that it's RF and not CF. So now we have 60,000. Let's try it again. Oh, not work. So it was, oh, it's a silver. So it was basically waiting like for 80k something. So it's expensive in power, but power I'm generating with charcoal right now. That's that inexpensive. So there's no reason not to do it this way. And I have an automated setup with that where you put a flower of coal generator one here one here one here one here and then this one you can put it on pulse and you're not losing the power that's the nice thing so if i do this again and i have 39 and i hit this i didn't use a single line of power because i don't have enough so it's just not converting anything so there's no worry you can have this fire every on a timer like every 10 ticks or 20 ticks or 30 ticks and if there's nothing good to be transformed here, well, no problem. So now what you do is you need a block placer to place a block when this is empty and a block breaker to break anything that's not stone. So it, the block placer places a stone. The block breaker says, hey, this is not a stone. Let's break it. So that's part of the setup that we're going to do. I just wanted to show you like you can get diamond. You can get anything. But already I got a gold, an iron, a silver a copper and I got a certus quartz and osmium. So it's kind of a very interesting way of generating uh, ore. And I'm probably going to make a setup for that, one with a lot more power so that it works faster. And we're going to start getting some of our ore that way. And especially the diamond. Like I haven't got a diamond yet, but I think that our chance of getting diamond this way is this way is way higher. So it's really worth it. I'm going to put these in here because that's how I got them. I know that they're not related to this mod in the fact that um, that I can get them from other mods or whatnot. But I got them because of this lens of the miner. And this one's... Oh, a yellow right. So that's going to be good for a big reactor later. I, I want to put one three away just to see. I don't remember if it worked three away because I always put it two away. But if I put it two away, it's over my... Uh, light so let's look at the next quest so next quest automatically manipulating block you know what that sounds like something that i would really need but oh wow okay so that's going to be next episode that's too much work and we're already at 15 minutes an auto breaker an auto placer an automatic precision dropper a fluid placer and a fluid collector so the fluid placer and fluid collector are very important for when we're going to get working into these oils uh, oils like when we get started into these because canola oil is a liquid that you have to place into the world and use an at atomic reconstructor on it if i remember correctly to transform it into refined or crystallized i don't or empower like there's multiple steps that we're going to have to work through and i'd like to finish one more quest just one more to say that i really got into it so let's make the farmer the farmer is four inari crystal block four seeds and an iron casing the inner crystal block are made of inner crystal and the inner crystal are made how they're made with iron so i need 9 9 18 blah, blah, 9 18 36 let's go get them let's go and get 36 so this is getting a bit expensive and you know what i'm going to be doing in my time lapse if i don't already have a ton of iron waiting for me downstairs from the uh basic factory i'm going to have to go and get that so let's grab the lens of the miner let's drop all of this right here let's press the button 
Et voila! I had enough power, so I defeated all of them, and I'm already at 94, so let's see what this one... Oh! 96,000 is not enough. You know what? I'm hoping that this is a diamond. I don't know how much KRF the diamond is. I wonder if there's a table somewhere that I can see. I never really cared... Coal. Really? Okay, so coal is super expensive, but it's the most useless one anyway let's go make it. let's go make our farmer that's more important right now so this is going to give me my four inori crystal block and since we've made inori crystal block i don't mind taking these two now because i've proven that i can create them i like how i always feel i have to prove that i'm able to do something before i use what i have but it's it's my shtick it's part of showing all the steps because you might be in a situation where you don't have everything and you haven't got one yet so if you didn't get one from your mob drop what are you supposed to do to uh to reproduce what i'm doing that's why it's important to me let's just make the farmer quickly farmer and the farmer in the last playthrough was more useful i'm not sure that it's that useful anymore and i'm going to explain to you why let me just open that up and I just remember that I forgot to read the quest. I was... <gasps> Lily Pad of Fertility. Oh, that is super good. It speed up the growth of crop. So I'm going to use that for sure. We're going to put them down in the next episode. So let's read this. The farmer uses power to harvest and plant crop in an area in front of it. So basically the farmer... The farmer... You put somewhere... Like let's put it here for now... And now it's going to plant and farm seed here. I don't know that it works with AgriCraft. So here's the real problem. If it doesn't work with AgriCraft, it means that we're going to be using it with a 111 seed. It's going to plant a 111 seed and harvest it. Which is really not ideal because a 111 seed doesn't produce a lot. Whereas when we make the seed into 10, 10, 10, it's going to give me four, I think four or five canola per shot. So it really is much better. So one, 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 two. That's the best one I have for now. And two, two, one. So no, that's, that's the one that's better. And these seed, the beauty of this is that now these, I just, I never throw away because I transform them into biomass. So let's do this little setup. Put down the 221 right here and the 221 right here. And this, I have to collect my biomass first. And this, and this, and these four, I just transform. So now I have more biomass being produced. Although I might need to start keeping some, but I'm going to continue growing these as high ice as possible. So, like I was saying, I have to test the farmer with uh, the crop stick because if it doesn't work with the crop stick, it's probably going to be worth putting down just because it's fully automated and you can let it go and move on and do something else. And I say that, you know what? Let me take one second. I come here and I put this guy down right here. And I put a stick right here and I put this right here. So now this is charging this farmer and i used all of my canola seed this plant cannot grow here you know what i already have this one in duplicate so i'm not going to care i'm just going to grab it back whoa omg uh guys it doesn't work with agricraft but oh my god does it do a big line so basically here's what it did it harvested this 7, 10, 10 seed right here. And it harvested this 8, 6, 7 tomato seed right here. And everything that it harvested, it replanted immediately. But I don't know how it got so many. Did it? Tr I think it turned the tomato into a seed and planted it. That's just crazy. And it also grabbed these from here. And I don't know. Oh, it's, they're in my inventory. I grabbed them. So this is kind of crazy. I didn't know it was this good. I honestly, like, okay, let's break it down. I don't want to leave it down here. So it doesn't work with Agricraft, but it makes big enough seed, a field, 
that is going to be your solution to our canola oil and canola seed production. We're going to totally need it. So I'm going to need to clean all of this. I'm just going to clean it up in between episode. Not right now because this is a mess. But the farmer's done. Next episode, we're going to get into the empowerer because that's going to create bigger and badder crystals. We're going to make the drill because I want to start, I want to show you the charging and uncharging. And we're probably going to get started with the canola. It's going to be a big episode because all of these machines to create, but it's going to be fairly easy. So all of this, oh, sorry, all of this, this, and this, these are going to take a bit more time. These are going to be longer. I think that these are going to be more of a problem. But teleportation, like this is kind of exciting. And it might be a mod that we're able to do in one or in two or three episode. And then we're going to spend the rest of the time ma ma making massive setup because there's so much automation you can make with those block placer and everything that we're going to have a lot of fun. Let me just get rid of all of this from my inventory. And you know what? Let me put the fertility pad right here. Like get rid of everything. And you know what? I'm, I'm wasting some time. Let's just end this on one last block being transformed. And 222,000 for copper ore. And if I put this one right here, a lapis lazuli. How much more can I make of this? Lapis lazuli is not something that I need. Gold, that's good. And now I don't have enough power. So I'm gonna need to make a lot more coal generator. I just wanna probably work with better um, kind of power so that's why I don't want to necessarily waste too much time with this generation of power because there's canola oil power I think is a lot more power if I remember and there's a lot of other things that we can do uh, for power in this mod pack so this might be what we need to begin with but that's not going to be the end all be all and I'm really glad that I got this started and then I now have multiple stacks of charcoal because I told you guys we're we would need a lot. This is the time when we're going to need we're going to start needing a lot. And I'm probably going to empty this and put it somewhere else, just so that I create a lot more. What's going on here? Huh? So it just finished filling recently because this hasn't accrued enough um, sticks yet. Anyway, I'm kind of talking about too many things because I'm really excited with this new mod, uh, this new mod that we're working with, because I know, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I know how much automation we are now going to be able to do, and it's going to be a game changer. It's really going to make things more amazing. We even, we didn't even get into crushing ore, because if I look at this, oh, what happened? R, no, that's, if I look at this, we have the crusher, so we can now crush copper ore into pulverized copper, and we can transform, we can cook pulverized copper. So we're going to have a whole setup where we take these, we crush them. Those that can be cooked will be pushed to a furnace that we haven't built yet, but we're going to build a furnace also. We have a lot of things going on. You know what? I'm going to end on this. It's a nice view. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.